Yeah, she's so beautiful. Tell Thank that story you. again about um, going to Africa. Yeah, and going I, to I got a chance to go to Africa. Uh, with, Women of the world? With organizations based here in Athens. Yeah. It's called Women to the World. To the World. Okay. And, and, and Doris created that organization to take uh, education and, and, um, and training to women in various parts of the world. Mm -hmm. So far in Africa, she's done, uh, I think Kenya okay. and Burkina Faso okay. have been her focus. Mm -hmm. And she's even created schools in Afghanistan for girls, for women. Okay. Uh, and she's fearless. Mm. Uh, I, I do know that she's protected by God because some of the things that has happened, mm -hmm. the adventures she's gone through, only God could have saved mm -hmm. her. All right? okay. So she's a phenomenal woman. Okay. It's a phenomenal organization. Mm -hmm. And they had invited me to go with them, like I say, to Bikino Faso mm -hmm. to introduce uh, beekeeping to the women. Okay. Uh, and in that part of the country, you know, uh, where we were, uh, I, I saw, you know, this is all Muslim territory, okay. I understand. Mm -hmm. I, I saw, like, their houses, you're looking at history, you know, if these people have been there forever, mm -hmm. and you're looking at the mud houses and everything, and it was just phenomenal. Mm -hmm. and the reception that they gave us was phenomenal, mm -hmm. in particular, I noticed the difference in how they, you know, t was treated me and, you know, the others. Um, mm -hmm. uh, the bottom line is, as I was explaining to them why I was there, mm -hmm. um, when I told them my age, they let out this collective scream. It was like, I'm talking through the interpreter and everything, and I said, I'm. You know, I was 60, I think I might have been 67 or 68 at that time. I forget exactly. Mm -hmm. And the next thing I heard, mm -hmm. they all went, <laughs> And they all going so, and I, when they, the first sound that came out when they did that, I jumped, you know, because I, oh my goodness, what did I do? You know, I don't know. Uh -huh. And I asked the interpreter, and the interpreter said, no, 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 it's okay, it's okay. I said, why did they do such a, what are they saying, you know? And he says, they say you lie. <laughs> so, I'm not surprised that you say I don't look my age. Right. I don't look that. Okay. okay, but in any case, mm -hmm. the point is, uh, I was very glad that I did go because the result is, and I'm just going to wrap this up very quickly, that prior to my coming, uh, what happened was phenomenal while I was there, mm -hmm. because in this culture, the women are on one side, you know, they're all, because it's the program, they came to talk to the women. Okay. But the men are across the way, you know, within hearing distance okay. away. Mm -hmm. And as they listened to what I was saying to them, at a certain point, mm -hmm. one of the men came to the head woman mm -hmm. and asked, with her permission, could they also participate in the program? Okay. Which was a first. Mm -hmm. mm. They never done that before. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Because women, they do their tasks, men do their tasks, mm -hmm. the two don't work together. Mm -hmm. But here they had come to do that, mm -hmm. and that was really quite interesting. And, you know, since I left, the thing is, uh, uh, they have worked together, okay. and they had our last report, which was two years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, they had built like eleven high, excuse me, eleven hives mm -hmm. in the trees, okay. top hives, okay. they're called. Mm -hmm. And excuse me, the results has been mm -hmm. because that area and that particular village was so impoverished, mm -hmm. so impoverished. Mm -hmm. The children would die from starvation before they were three. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was really a, a, a dire situation. Mm -hmm. But since the introduction of the honey mm -hmm. and everything, mm -hmm. because the photographer who used to go every two years when they went back, mm -hmm. he would take pictures of the children. And when he would come back two years ago, 
those children wouldn't be there anymore. Mm -hmm. They had died. Mm -hmm. But this time when he went back, after they got into the beekeeping, mm -hmm. the pictures that he took when I was with them, mm -hmm. those same children were there. That's amazing. So, yeah, that yes. was wonderful. Yes. Yes. It was. Mm -hmm. That was. Mm -hmm. okay? okay. So anyway, back to Georgia. Mm -hmm. So there came a time in my life as I grew older that myself and some friends of mine females. Mm -hmm. We decided time is marching, you know, we're all aging, you know, they were all like 20 years younger than me or what have you. Mm -hmm. All right. But it's time for us to think, become fiscally responsible. And there was once amongst our group who had an MBA and everything. And so we tossed around ideas and decided to form an investment club. Okay which is a very good idea. Mm -hmm. And young people should be thinking about investment clubs, okay? Mm -hmm. And starting out, all right? In any case, we were gonna form an investment club. And so we did. And then we had to decide, well, what were we gonna invest in? Because these are the past steps you go through. Mm -hmm. What are we gonna invest in? You know, silver, gold, what, 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 you know, none of that appealed to us. Mm -hmm. Anyway, bottom line is, Aquaponics came to our attention. Okay. And aquaponics, as you know, is the science of growing indoors in an enclosed environment fish along with the vegetables. Okay. And so we were going to do that. Mm -hmm. And we began our quest to seek information on how to do that because none of us knew how to do it. Mm -hmm. But you can always learn. And so yes. we set out. And as we traveled all around and cross country, there came a time when we came to Fort Valley. Okay. Fort Valley University mm -hmm. in Georgia. Right. And we met a man mm -hmm. whose name is. Wait just a second. He, he wants to ask this oh, question. Sure, he wants to ask a question. So what? basically the aquaponics, like I've heard about aquaponics, so you guys, invent, how big was the aquaponics thing you did? Like did it, how, la how long did it last? Okay. Well here are, the, here are the results. I'm glad you asked that question because it was a brilliant idea that we had at the time. Because everything depends on timing, you know? You hear, hear a new idea, if it, you know, if, it, if it's yours and you go with it, you know? somebody or you see somebody else who has something going on you know and you see them and you see them but you wait and you wait and you wait before you get involved you know by the time you get involved it's almost at the end so timing is very important in our case we were fortunate because at that time believe it or not most people hadn't even heard of tilapia fish <laughs> they nobody know anything about tilapia fish so we got in it and it began to investigate it long before it became a popular thing. How long did we stay in it? We never got in it. You okay. want to know why we never got in it? Because even though we got the help, we got help from here, there, and everywhere in terms of people trying to look for grants, including a United States Senator from New Jersey. Mm -hmm. He put one of his grants researchers on it. Mm -hmm. And he never could find, he never could find any startup money. See, because it's a funny thing about life and finances. If you have a whole lot of money, people will give you money. If you have no money, nobody will give you a penny. So you have to have something to start up. Mm -hmm. True, 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 true. true. Anyway, okay. so we couldn't get that started. However, in Fort Valley, at Fort Valley University, we had the good fortune to meet a man, a giant of a man, mm -hmm. whose name is Will Allen. Okay. And Will Allen is the founder of an organization called Growing Power. And Growing Power, its whole objective is to be able to educate and to teach and to bring to in a city, citizens, good quality organic food. Okay. We met him. Mm -hmm. And he, we became aware of his facility in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Mm. And he's an amazing man. Mm. Because 
he, an African American male, mm -hmm. has the last remaining farm in the city of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Mm. Isn't that interesting mm -hmm. and amazing? Mm -hmm. And so we went out there to attend one of his workshops. And in going there, I happened to see, I asked to see, asked the people, is that what I think it is? And it was. They said, yes, Agatha, that's a beehive. Okay, okay. And I said, wow, and I got all excited, although I was over here and the hive was over there because mm -hmm. I wasn't getting close to mm -hmm. I ran over to my other, the others on the trip with me mm -hmm. from the group and told them what I had seen because we had plans, you know, for the facility, mm -hmm. for the educational center. We, were, we, mm -hmm. we had it all together. Mm -hmm. we, we were right, right on. I said, well, but with all the land that we have, because mm -hmm. I have nice, some, some acreage down in, in old, you know, old County. Okay, okay. But I said, we could build a facility and we could still have room to put beehives into. Mm -hmm. That would be value added. Because mm -hmm. by this time we had gotten very smart because we had been around and done our due diligence. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. You have to go and learn. Do your research. That's right. You got to do your research. You got to be around the top people, mm -hmm. not the ones at the bottom level. You got to get in the end of workshops with the top people mm -hmm. so you'll get the real story, mm -hmm. not the convoluted story. Because okay. a whole lot of people can talk a whole lot of convolution. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Best you go to the folk who know. Right. To the horses back. Okay. Anyhow. They got excited and they said, you're right, Agatha. We have lots of room that we could have honey too. Mm -hmm. Another income source, right. another income flow. Mm -hmm. And they said, go, go for it. Mm -hmm. And I said, I will. Mm -hmm. I sometimes have a tendency to put, what they call that, foot in mouth. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I heard of that before. You've heard of that? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, I do that sometimes. Okay. And, you know. So you went for it? Yeah, I mean, I had no choice.